Hi guys, thanks for joining us today. I'm Jessica with the Buena Vista Museum and I have my helpers, Maddie and David with me today. And today, we are gonna be making sugar crystals. So for today's project, here's a couple ingredients that we will be using. We will be using a hot plate to boil our water. We're going to use a pan, um, a plastic spoon, a one cup measuring cup, a paper plate with a little bit of sugar on there, and a wooden stick, food coloring, um, a couple of glass jars, sugar, water, and some clothespins. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some sugar on a paper plate. And we're going to take our wooden stick and we are going to put some water on it. We're probably going to dip it in the water about halfway through. And then we are going to make sure it's nice and wet and then we're going to roll it in our sugar. Once we get the sugar on the stick, we want to make sure that it gets completely covered with sugar. And then we're going to set that aside and we're going to let it dry for 24 hours. And then you just set it aside and let it set for 24 hours. Our next step, we're going to put one cup of water in our pan. We're going to make what's called a saturated solution. And for the younger kids, we definitely want to make sure that you ask an adult for help. Once it starts boiling, we're going to put one cup of sugar into the pan and we're going to dissolve it completely. We're going to put three cups of sugar in there, but we're going to add it one cup at a time. We're going to make sure that we dissolve each cup one at a time. You want to make sure that it is completely dissolved before you add the next cup. Um, what we're doing here is we're making our saturated solution. We're going to add our second cup of sugar and we're going to stir that until it's completely dissolved. So basically a saturated solution is putting more of something in the water than the water can hold. So we're putting more sugar in there than the water can hold. So we're going to go ahead and get our third cup of sugar ready. We want to make sure that it's a completely full cup, that it's nice and even. And we're going to give it another stir and we're going to make sure that it's completely dissolved. Now that our sugar is completely dissolved, we can turn off our burner and we're going to pour some of our food coloring in there. Whatever color you want to use, you can put however many drops in there you want. This would be a good time to add your flavoring if you would like flavoring in it. We're going to mix that up. And then we're going to pour it in our jar. And remember kids, when doing this, make sure that you ask an adult for help. Mm -hmm. 
Wonderful. Now that we have our saturated solution in our jar, we're going to set that aside for quite a few hours and we're gonna let it completely cool down. Hi guys, we're back. We let our solution sit, now it's nice and cooled off. The next step we're going to do is we're going to take um, our clothespin and we're going to put it on the end of our sugar stick that we let set for 24 hours and we're going to gently put it into our solution. And we're going to make sure that it doesn't touch the bottom and that it kind of has a little suspension just right in the middle. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to let that set for about seven days. I have made some previous ones and I let them set for about three weeks actually. So it just depends on how much crystals you want on there. You can let it set longer and you will eventually have more crystals on there. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone and we're gonna let that set for about seven days. Hi guys. We're back again. Um, so the next step for our project that we're doing, we're going to pull the stick out gently and we're going to put it inside this jar to let dry. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see what it looks like. <gasps> wow. We're gonna put it in our empty jar and we're going to let it set and dry. We're gonna let it dry for about two days. And then after we let it dry, we can taste our product and see how it tastes. What makes the crystals grow? Two different methods will contribute to the growth of the crystals on the stick you have created a super saturated solution by first heating a saturated sugar solution, which is a solution in which no more sugar can dissolve at a particular temperature, and then allowing it to cool. A super saturated solution is unstable. It contains more solute. In this case, it's sugar. That can stay in a liquid form, so the sugar will come out of solution forming what's called a precipitate. This method is called precipitation. The other is evaporation. As time passes, the water will evaporate slowly from the solution. As the water evaporates, the solution becomes more saturated and sugar molecules will continue to come out of the solution and collect on the seed crystals on the stick. The rock candy crystals grow molecule by molecule. Your finished rock candy will be made up of about a quadrillion molecules attached to the stick. All right, guys, now is the time to give our product a try. Let's bring in the rest of our taste testers. We have Michael and Juliana, and they're going to help us grade our, our sugar crystals that we made. Which one do you want? The green one. The green one? I want the pink one. You want the pink one? Wow. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Mommy. So if you guys ever want to make candy, you can make your own rock candy. Sugar crystals. That was fun. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure that you like and subscribe and get the newest updated videos. Bye.